All right, people, today I'm gonna to show you exactly how I taught my moray eel to eat from my hand. These days, you can find a lot of videos on social media of people who have moray eels who seem to hand feed their eels. And it really looks like all you have to do is buy a moray eel and they will eat from your hand straight away. Well, people, I can tell you right now, that is not the case. You kind of need to teach them that. And yeah, I'm gonna show you how to do that today. So the very first thing before you even try to get started with teaching them how to eat from your hand, you need to have some understanding you see the thing is eels are very intelligent creatures and they get very nervous especially when you first buy them from the fish store and like you know you're moving them from the store to your tank the whole thing is very stressful for them so first things first you're gonna have to give them a few days to settle down so if you just bought an eel and they're not eating don't worry people like I said, it takes a few days. Mine took about five days. Now, if you want to speed up them calming down and all of that, there's other things you can do, like play with the light and add a bit more caves and that. But don't worry, people. I will actually upload a complete care guide on how to look after more eels. So just keep an eye out for that where I jump into more detail when it comes to that. We'll stick to just the feeding part for today. So once you have your eel and it starts calming down, actually, wait, sorry, my bad. The first step is actually in the shop because you need to double check what they eat or what the people in the shop are feeding the eels so that way fast forward back to when you bring your eel home you know where to start off so for example with my moray eel in the shop they said they tried blood worms and all of that and they were eating them fine so i knew when she was rejecting the blood worms it was just a bit of stress and all i had to do was wait until eventually she was comfortable enough to eat those blood worms so here's where the teaching comes in you see if you want the eel to eat from your hand you can't just drop the blood worms into the tank you kind of need to get them used to having the food in front of them and they are going to eat it so the way I done it is I use some tongs uh where are my tongs one second so I use some tongs here they are you just basically take a little cup put some blood worms in there and let it defrost and then you take them in the tongs and put it in front of the eel and let the eel eat from there that way you're getting them used to the idea of eating from your hand even though it's not exactly because you're using tongs now the thing is people this kind of also depends on the size of your moray eel my one was a baby so that's why we started with the blood worms but if you have a slightly bigger one you can try feeding prawns or earthworms and things like that which is what my one currently eats yeah you can kind of jump ahead Really. but if you have a baby start with blood worms that's easier for them to eat now the next step is like i already mentioned a little bit you want to move on to something bigger because if you try to you know feed blood worms with your hands you will notice it's actually quite difficult so just forget about it in that part like i said use the tongs now for the next part you want to get something bigger for me personally i got earthworms because i went back to the shop and i told them i was like hey i want to move on to something bigger and they were like well the remaining moray eels that we have we're feeding them earthworms so try that so i bought some cut them up and i fed them once again with the tongue and she ate them up from the tongs now here's the thing people you see every single eel is going to be different and they're all going to have slightly different personalities but there's one thing you want to look out for if you want to eventually hand feed your eels and that is the way they eat the food now when i fed my moray eel with the tongue she would always like i would have it here and she would come very slowly grab it and then you know go away because like i mentioned before eels are very intelligent and after a while they do realize that you are the person feeding them and looking after them so they're not going to try and hurt you that's in my case anyway the reason i'm saying that is i don't want one of you to you know get a moray eel who's particularly aggressive and then you try hand feed them and it bites you and then you try to blame me people every single animal is different all i can speak on is my personal experience and in my personal experience my eel is very friendly and she eats right out of my hand but yeah we're jumping ahead a little bit so once you get to the part where you're feeding bigger foods that you can potentially hold with your hand and your eel is eating it from the tongs without it accidentally biting the tongs or anything that's where the next part comes in and it's not quite with the hand feeding this part is mental you need to get used to not being scared because if you start getting scared and you have the worm there and it's coming towards it and you start moving about it could accidentally bite you you need to have that trust with your eel that it's not going to bite you stand still if it goes past your finger you might want to move it up a little bit you kind of want to line it up with their mouth because they are kind of blind so they can't see very well but the main thing is you can't have that fear people if you're there wiggling about your hand and that it might accidentally bite you but if you're calm and collected and you have that worm right there and you just let it come closer to the worm and then take it out of your hand you will be completely fine and that's it really people it's as simple as that it, the main thing is you want to get your eel comfortable and eating and as long as you're using something like tongs and getting it used to the idea of eating from you rather than you dropping the food on the floor and they eat it themselves then 
you should be fine when you're trying to hand feed it. Now, a very important part of people, and this is very, very important, you don't want to get them completely used to eating from your hand. So you kind of want to teach them how to eat off your hand as well. And what I mean by that is simply dropping the food near their cave so they can come out and eat it themselves. And the reason for that is sometimes you might be very busy or sometimes you might be away on holiday and someone else needs to feed your fish. And if they're not comfortable feeding your eel with their hands, then what are they gonna do you feel me and if the eel isn't used to eating just food from the floor then you're gonna have a bit of a problem i mean at the same time eels can go a long time without food but you just kind of want them to know how to eat off the floor as well so don't just feed them with your hand you kind of want to mix it in with your regular schedule so you can get them used to it and all of that anyway people i'm not an expo or anything this is just my personal experience but if you do have any questions then let me know in the comments down below and if you enjoyed this video why don't you check out one of these two next